this morning, uh, our neighbor and Jim are cutting a hole in the side of our truck to put an exhaust fan that will go behind our refrigerator because the motor and the, I think it's condenser motor, get very hot and that heat just sits on this wall right here between the refrigerator and our grill even though we have the vent here and so we're trying to put a box or a exhaust fan behind here to just suck that totally out of the truck um, we did get our air conditioner put in it was used uh, but it works great it's never going to cool the truck because you know you got your grill your motors your ovens but it sure is nice it actually kind of blows on the the worker as you're working right here or you can come stand under it if it's really hot and it you know gives you a little bit of reprieve and it definitely was worth the investment so we'll see how the fan turns out today uh, they're measuring the angle iron now to build up the frame It'll kind of stick out of the truck a little bit, which is, that's kind of what we wanted because we didn't want to move the, the floor bolts and everything for the refrigerator. So, uh, let's see how it goes today. for a straight edge it's about
you build a box, so this is going to be the frame that he's going to put inside with the fan. But you see these little feet areas, and that's just to get over to the frame so he can weld the new box into the frame. I hope I got that right. Putting it back in place to see the measurement on the outside. So here's your frame coming together right here. And this is that foot thing I'm talking about. over to the frame of the truck and he'll weld it right there and that's how you're going to get stabilization and that's how he did that.
Sink some screws along the bottom here, a couple in here, one up here. You can grab the fan and just set it in there once. Chisel or something, Jim? So here is a picture of the frame. They just got done drilling holes, or Tim did. We and we painted it orange just to paint it to cover the steel so no rust would build. But you won't see it from the outside anyway. That is not going anywhere. I pulled and pulled and it ain't wiggling at all. It's so exciting. It's just going to pull that heat out behind that refrigerator so nice. It's going to be awesome. and It won't stick out any more than my mirrors, so that's good right there. It shouldn't affect my driving whatsoever.
Now you're gonna do a rivet. <laughs> Push it all the way in before you pull the trigger. There you go. Ah. Now once, pull it, let it go, pull it again, and then that nail will fall out the back. You want to hold on to those so they'll all fall in the grass. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. missed it, I think, but... <laughs> you what? Go ahead, I'll try again. Go. Okay. Then you get the nail. Nice. That's a really cool river guy. I never Yeah, it'll work. Down far enough there, but too late. 
late now. Yeah, it still is nice. You probably want to put a couple of them maybe across the top. Yeah, just in case, yeah. Could you? Probably just go ahead and drill all three holes. Hi guys, welcome to Chapman's Takeaway. We want to finish up this exhaust fan video with one little last one to show you um, what we feel about it, how we like it, and the difference that it's made. Uh, you see by this Kleenex here that there's no suction now. Jim's going to go in and plug it in for you. Uh, it starts up kind of slow as it's blowing out those louvers. <clears throat> and when he comes back out, after the fan gets going, you'll see... Uh, the draw that it has. There it goes. You can kind of hear it when you shut the door. I just want to make sure we get the full suction. There you go. There you go. See, you can just really feel the pull and the suction just right out of the truck. And that's going to suck that heat right out of there. So when we come around the truck, <clears throat> this is the noise level. And it's not bad at all. Up inside it's not it's not terribly bad now we don't run it the whole entire time um, that's the noise level there so your your helpers outside definitely got to speak up a little bit but it removes the heat that just sits right here and we don't run it constantly. Um, if in the heat of the day you feel the walls getting hot, we turn it on 5, 15 minutes, something like that. And it gets that heat off of there. We can shut it off. Um, but we definitely think it's worth the time, the money, and the energy. Yep, there you go. <clears throat> to do it, it made a big difference in our truck. And as the fan is on, I can feel a jet stream of air. I can crack that window with the screen here, and I can feel that jet stream of air. Yeah. So the heat, the heat would just build up on the wall overnight, and this gets it out. Yeah, and it doesn't let the, the refrigerator work um, as well as it could because there's so much heat around it. So with running this, it helps this uh, refrigerator perform much better. So we hope you liked the video. Um, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thanks.